F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? Today we have a special, special video for you today. Um, we can't let go of Breaking Bad, man. We 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 just can't let it go. So um, one thing is we are pushing El Camino from Tuesday to Friday, so don't worry about that. El Camino is coming. We just kind of wanted to interject this a little bit before we, you know, give our final goodbyes to Breaking Bad. But um, I'm gonna kick it off the former so he can kind of tell you what we getting into today. Yes, yes, what we getting into? Like Brolic said, can't let go of. Breaking Bad, such a great show, such a good experience, and you know it's one of the shows that we started our channel off with. So, you know it's it's, it's just a lot of blessings and love coming from it. So, what we gonna do today? Um, you know, for one, pushing El Camino back to Friday, it's cool anyways, right? Friday is a good day to watch a movie, so we kick that back for y'all. But today, what we gonna hop into is just some engagement. I got a couple of questions that. Uh, we're going to go through so please drop some comments along with these questions go ahead and just number them one through we're going to do the same thing on the screen so y'all can follow along and then we're going to hop into some breaking bad one star reviews i'm just very curious to see <laughs> what the other side of the community is looking like when it comes to this show we haven't seen these before so these are going to be fresh reactions to these one star reviews of our maybe favorite series out here. <laughs> Breaking Bad. Nah, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. There for you sure. go. So with that said, make sure you like this video. Please make sure to drop some comments, especially along with these questions. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. The goal is 1K subscribers. So go ahead click that button click that bell and get notified when we go live let's go let's get it get it all right breaking bad fam first question easy peasy i'm pretty sure y'all already know especially for the ones who watched this two three four five times <laughs> favorite character question number one who's your favorite character in the whole series how you feeling over there we're gonna start with you um I would have to say Walt. Walt is my favorite character. I think he, I, I know that's kind of like, uh, he's the main protagonist, but you know, I just think he's just multi, multi dimensional, like character. Like he has so many different sides of him and he's, you know, King manipulator, you know what I'm saying? So it, <laughs> I just love the way he maneuvers and, and finesses his way through all of these situations that he he's been through. And just to see from him from the very beginning of the uh, the first episode to the last episode, I think it's just just crazy the 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 amount of development has happened just in five seasons. So yeah. the, to me, it's it's Walt hands down is my favorite character. All day, every day, I feel it, <laughs> Mr. White. I love you, Blue. <laughs> <sighs> Y'all already know for me, man. It's my boy Gustavo. Oh! Come on, son. Gus, big Gus. Man, that's my man's, bro. Because he was just like, you know, he, he just remind me of me sometimes with the way he be moving out there. Like, you don't know he got the little glasses on, the tie. <laughs> you think he a little, you know what I'm saying? But he know how to. He know how to know how to, you know. Man, I don't got to say much more than that. But, like, yeah. that, that's my man's, though. Like, he... His presence in the show, I feel like it like skyrocketed the show for me. Mm. So that's another reason why I would probably put him up there as top character or at least favorite character. Yeah. Um, and then like it sucked that he went out, but you know he went out like a boss, man. Came out and fixed his tie. Yep. <laughs> Very unrealistic, but it's okay because we needed that dramatic flair. Gus was a dramatic dude, like yeah. so that dramatic flair that he had to go out with was a banger. Yeah. All right. Question number two. Least favorite character. 
Mm. You want me to start? You yeah, start. Right, no, you my. start. Let me think about that. I got to go through the memory berries. Like. You got to go through the memory. <laughs> y'all already. If y'all didn't watch these reactions with me, y'all already know it's that boy, Ted <laughs> Bendeny. <laughs> Ted Bendeny, get his ass out of here. He's the one okay. who the, he pulled Skylar into the hole, man. Mm. If it wasn't for him, she wouldn't have had no one to cheat with. I don't know. Mm. You know, I got my love hate for Skylar regardless. She's a grown woman. She's going to do what she do. But I still hate Ted Moore. And I love to see him go parallel with the floor. Head first into the cabinet. <laughs> 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 Gave his ass that spina bifida like shallow hell. <laughs> Fucking, yeah, I hate Ted. How you feeling over there? Um, it's tough. I would probably mm. have to say Todd. Just just because of his what he's done in the show and the way he's like just so unpredictable and 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 just weird and every time you <laughs> like every time you see him you just you're in disgust like so <laughs> I, I I am like I, I Todd Todd to me is just like I I don't like him period as a character I mean period. I think I think he played the character very well because I don't like him you know like. You know he's kind of like Joffrey in, in Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You he he's he did such a good uh like version of of Todd. It's just like yeah, I I, I appreciate it, but I dislike him the most if I had to choose one. Poor Todd, poor Todd. <laughs> I the death that hurts you the most. Mm. The death that just put that over your heart question number three what was the most painful death for you i want you I, I, yeah yeah you started you started it's you started. easy for me go ahead it's my boy hanky panky man Ooh, okay and it's crazy because like there was definitely more emotional deaths that happened on the show like mm -hmm. especially any death that involved jesse because you know how good <laughs> that boy aaron paul be acting yep but hank was my man man Shit hurt, dude. See him like go out like that out there in the middle of the desert. And then as we spoke about, or I won't even say it because that's in the El Camino end talk, but you know, there was just some things unaddressed for me. <laughs> so that was the most painful death. I was like, damn, son, that's really my boy. How you feeling? Man, I will I will have to say Mike. Mike for me. Mm. I, I think Mike was he was up there in the rankings of one of my favorite characters in the show. Um, mm -hmm. just because he was just stern, like he, 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 he held this shit down. He knew his shit, like, mm -hmm. and he was just a real overall character. Like he told it how it was and he wasn't going to back down for no one. And I always loved that about Mike. And it was just sad to see him go the way that he did something. So like it, it, it was so unnecessary, his death, Facts. but you know, it happened. So it was just like, mm -hmm. man. You, you hate it to reminds see it me of a comment it reminds me of a comment someone left they said like you know you don't you don't you don't get as old as mike does mm. doing the stuff he does unless you're good at it like oh yes and that's that's facts like to so to like you said to see him go out in an unnecessary way like that when he was so close so to close. just being oh, gone like, yes and instead that took the detour to belize <laughs> <laughs> all right Question number four, y'all. Make sure y'all in these comments. Your favorite death. Who are you glad to see go? You knew it was time to snip them up out of here. You ready? Man, I, I, can I, I'm going first. All right. Yeah, go. So my favorite. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's got to be sorry. attached to your least Listen, favorite character. I'm sorry for it. <laughs> it's not? <laughs> no, nah, it's not. It's not. Because. I accepted that, but this one right here was one that I wanted from the beginning, like when I first started watching it, Jane. Uh -huh. Jane death to me, like I felt like she had to go. Like, I'm sorry, but she had to go because ain't no way mm -hmm. you're going to try to blackmail me mm -hmm. into giving money to a person you barely even know. Like, you feel me? And then on top of that, you're you're, you're pulling him into... To, even deeper into that world of of drugs and shit so to me it was like jane was the one of the most satisfying because it was like if she didn't go that whole situation could have been different like mm, i love it mm. you know what's crazy what i pondered i pondered that same <laughs> thought like 
Because I felt that same way. Like, she tried to really Bonnie and Clyde the situation. Mm-hmm. Like, get out of here. But since you gave that answer, I'll give a different one. Slightly oh, different. Well, oh, much, yours, yours was the same? Slightly different. Much, okay. It was, it was very close. Okay. But it was really close. Um, I'm going to go with Declan. Mm. I'm gonna go with Declan, bruh. Okay. And I'm, I'm the reason why I cho- choose this one as my favorite death is because it really sent the trajectory for the Nazis storyline and just kind of showed how like how like smart the moves they were making and, okay. and how savage they were. Like I ain't gonna say it was the best death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it was definitely I'll put that up there. Like, damn, this was a dope ass play that they made. Like, so yeah, Declan for sure. Fire in the hole. Man, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Most surprising moment. Now that one, you gotta definitely gotta dig at those bad Damn, bears. man, what, you need to what? be. You gotta <laughs> throw me these questions beforehand, like shit. I, I'll go. I'll go first for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I'm fresh and everything. So yeah, yeah. for me, most surprising moment was this beautiful scene where Walt is cooking. You know, all he do is cook in the house. Yep. And then the transition. And who's standing there in the yellow jumpsuit? Freaking Todd, bruh. That was one of the most surprising scenes for me because that was like, that started getting to the point um, around like the buyout episodes and stuff like that. Mm. And that's when I was like really realizing like, oh damn, like Walt is is really done with Mike and Jesse. Like he, mm. he, he he's replacing them. And I think I actually said that in that episode, like he's, he's replacing his old team like he got Lydia and Todd in them now like he don't even need Mike and Jesse anymore so yeah. that was like before Mike's death and all that so to me that was super surprising because the whole time you see how strong Walt is you know like his feelings towards like Jesse and wanting to keep him alive and around and things of that nature yep. so like for me that was a big turning point in at least my opinion of how Walt felt about Jesse and them so that was like the most surprising scene for me like now, not to say that this freaking show doesn't have tons of surprising scenes, yeah. but I remember like specifically my jaw, my jaw dropped at that moment. I was just like, "Oh snap!" Like Todd in there learning how to cook, and then again that expanded on their storyline. So that was dope. Okay, okay. <clears throat> if I had to say surprises, I wouldn't. I, I I'm not gonna say this is my favorite, but this is one of them, and it's um Jesse's reaction to um Brock going into to, to the hospital. You feel me? That that was surprising to me that Jesse connected the dots and was actually right for once. Like mm. and, and 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 then um yeah just that just him connecting the dots. But then what was more surprising to me was that he let Walt convince them out of it that it was actually something different. So it was like a double surprise because it's like, oh, shit, he actually figured this shit out. And then yeah. it's like, wait, he actually manipulated the situation. <laughs> Holy shit. So, like, that that whole scene right there was just, it, like I said, was kind of surprising because, you know, for the most part, Jesse's not the most brightest person. Mm-hmm. So, you yeah. know, when, yep. when he put that together, you're just like, wow, he really mm-hmm. did that. And he was... He was 100% accurate with the with the with the hue everything. So yeah. I was just like, okay. That's my and then Walt convinced him. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yo, that's terrible, Jesse. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course, we can't ask about surprising scene without asking about your favorite scene. So what mm. would you say is your favorite scene? This one's easy for me. <laughs> it's the one that gave me those goosebumps. Mm. When Walt was on in in that that little hole down there laughing, bro, under the crib, man, just cracking up as, as his world is crumbling. He he, the six hundred thousand is gone because Skylar just gave it to Mister Ted over there. That that and then that was also the role in the credit scene too. Like so, that was just like a perfect ending to any episode. Like that shit. Whew. Really gave me goosebumps. So I'd have to say that's probably my favorite scene, easily. Uh, that's pretty easy. It's it's the Gustavo scene. His death. When he dies. Yeah, that 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 to to me because that literally was the first scene I've seen of this show, unfortunately. But it, it was it, it was just beautifully made. It drew me in. You feel me? It was like boom. I when I seen that, I was like, what is this? I need to watch this. 
right now. And yeah, that scene was beautiful. Facts. <laughs> All right, last question here. <clears throat> if y'all didn't comment yet, please start doing so now, especially for this question, because I know y'all fans out there got some things, got some things. What is the most random thing? Doesn't necessarily have to be a fact. It could be a rumor, whatever. But what's just this most random thing that you've heard about Breaking Bad that you believe or don't believe? You want me to start? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. I'll start. So this is something I recently ran into. <laughs> don't know how true it is. I guess that's what we all do, right? After we watch Breaking Bad, we yeah. just start researching and trying to learn <laughs> shit. Like, I don't know how true this is. I don't believe it. And I am probably don't want to believe it because I'm biased about this show. <laughs> and I think that this show is ass. But apparently, Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead is in the same universe. Um, to the to the point where <laughs> blue meth. Hold up, hold up, bro. To the point where apparently there's a bag of blue meth that shows up in The Walking Dead. Now I know that The Walking Dead helped with Gus's makeup and stuff for his death scene and things like that. So I feel like it was probably just an Easter egg they threw in there because I don't even know when that blue meth pops up and like in what season that pops up in. Season two. Um. Oh, see, look, you know more than me, but I don't believe that shit. I don't want to believe that shit. <laughs> I'm like, yo, don't try to ride off of Breaking Bad's way. <laughs> Even though I know the Walking Dead got their own full blast community as well, fans, so they don't really need a Breaking Bad way, but mm. I don't want to believe that shit. And but all right, no. so I got a question. What what is it a fan theory? Because what I read, apparently it is a like fan one theory. of the directors said that shit or something like that. Like one of the people who worked on the Walking Dead said that shit. Nah, they they so I'm like they completely cap and where's that 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 Yu Gi Oh <laughs> card big cap uh, big cap <laughs> big cap <laughs> placed Nah but and um fucking face up. I don't know. I, I that that that's a tough question to answer. You ain't been doing your research. You ain't no fan. Bro. I don't. I don't do research. I, 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 I <laughs> listen. I'm one of those viewers that go in, watch it, and be like, "Yo, that was great. That shit was great." Yeah, and, <laughs> and then it. I go talk to it with my peoples. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? I really don't dig further. I don't. But um, other than you know, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about the show. So if I oh, was to hear to something that. to hear something bad, then I wouldn't believe it. Oh well, that's what this whole video about. Then, so that's a perfect segue into into the motherfucking reviews, baby. So if y'all haven't already, y'all make sure y'all like this video. Go ahead, drop some comments, and please don't forget to subscribe. We about to get into these Breaking Bad one star reviews. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Nah, you gotta see these, bro. <laughs> you gotta see this already. Already with the bullshit. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so here we go. First, the first one star review. <laughs> Marvelous, excellent, and gripping. Best show I have ever watched. It got me hooked on. So mesmerizing, addictive. Other shows seem nothing in front of this. It really makes us believe family is everything. Can you believe that? <laughs> the first one star Breaking Bad review is a 10, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm done, son. We it, about it, to end the video now. Especially like. the finale. It's heartbreaking. Oh, my God. It really <laughs> hurt me. Man. They how? They <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a one star review right here That bro. is a one star Listen, best show ever You get a one <laughs> You get a one Yo, imagine the, the <coughs> If you ever gave one of these episodes a one <laughs> Man. Boom Oof. Mm, All hype No substance No substance mm. Mm. Okay, so they said I was brought into the hype and watched it based off of that alone. And just like everyone else who wasn't impressed as they worked their way through it, I went along to stick with it to see if it got so much better, which was the advice given. Only to end up finding the entire thing anticlimactic and pretty dull. Mm -hmm. Oof. What made things worse was that everyone was going crazy for this guy, Walt, 
that I felt like a creature from another planet when I discovered that I absolutely most definitely couldn't stand him. <laughs> Damn. I despise everything about him. He had delusions of grandeur, but n put no effort into making a success of himself, but was bitter and resentful of others who succeeded. Damn. Mm. He may have started out with good intentions when he got involved in the meth business, but eventually it's pretty obvious that he continues to do it in order to feed his bloated, narcissistic ego. Normally with a character like this, you find some trait that balances out the bad and creates some empathy, but that never happened to me. Wow. It's, that's crazy, because, I mean, it's like he hit the points, or the, he, yeah. he hit the points of, like, Walt's descent, but they just didn't like it. I don't agree with the whole find a trait that balances out the bad because i feel like his intellect is what what was the trait like and his love for family like was kind of his trait that helped balance yeah out but the, the bad. but it, it's not even about balancing bad because the show is about breaking bad so you know what i'm saying well, it's about balancing for this person i mean <laughs> it's about him going to the dark side and and then you know shit going the way a person like this would you know Narcissistic ego, you know what I'm saying? He he did hit some points here, but it's just like, and I finally got my reward when I watched him die. Best moment yeah, of the man. whole goddamn thing. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Seven I like this one though because it, it lets me know they paid attention. No, nah, no, nah. it just it wasn't their thing. It wasn't, but he <laughs> he he does have some point here about you know Walt's traits and stuff. But it's just like I don't know. I felt like they it, the reward wasn't him watching him die. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We on to the next baby. All hype, no substance. <laughs> Junkies only. Ouch. Ooh. Check my veins real quick. I like, did. I, I like, think I did me. deleted that scene when I said I had to shoot up. <laughs> Golly. A chem teacher has cancer, loses his job, and makes a living by making and selling meth. Mm. And he is very proud of his illegal business. Bravo. Need of the day for American youngsters who are spoiled under, under drug addiction. I am not sure what kind of sane person would like this. Yuck. Okay, so Yuck. this person doesn't have any type of imagination and just like why why? Or no understanding of ESRB ratings neither, like Look. I mean <laughs> this show ain't for youngsters. <laughs> this ain't for the American youngsters. That's true, that too. <laughs> that 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 is very true. I wouldn't show but this there are to people my kids. like this. You know, there's people like this that exist though. Every everything negative they probably hate which i get like right we don't want our kids watching this show but it ain't for them it ain't they ain't watching it <laughs> like, it ain't who 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 puts their kids to watch a, a show about a meth but i'm offended why i'm a junkie apparently <laughs> we're all junkies <laughs> god damn it. i like my next hit <laughs> garbage <laughs> garbage this was just garbage how the hell did it receive a nine comma five this they are 9.5 this show totally does not reflect reality when it comes to drug to the drug business the script is nonsense storyline as well i had great difficulty watching it and i wish i didn't waste my time on this wow i, I wish you helped them you know i wish you would have freaking consulted them and taught them how to <laughs> do the reality of a drug business nah. Apparently, this person is a drug business owner, <laughs> and they know all the <laughs> they know all the reality of how it works. I don't another another person who just thinks like uh, everything has to be real and like no, it's a it's a show. That's why I I enjoy moments like uh, Gustavo coming out and fixing his tie. Mm -hmm. Is because we're what they know we're watching the show. And they had to give us a bit extra to, to put some flair on it. And I respect that because they know we're watching a show. You feel me? Give us a show. That's what they want. Okay? I feel you. Garbage. Mm, garbage. <clears throat> I'm garbage. Ooh. Ooh. Another offensive. Uh, oh, my God. You may have a degree, but still dumb. It may be overhyped, but it's world dumbest show ever. <laughs> I have watched <laughs> I have watched many series 
It's the worst series I have ever saw. Boring storyline, boring plot, boring sleepy, no character development. In short, overrated series, sometimes it creates doubt to believe this rating. It created doubt to believe that you rated this a <laughs> 1 out of 10. Because I can honestly assume that you probably... I ain't even gonna dish this man. Don't, don't, don't. I don't, don't wanna offend nobody. Listen, here, don't, don't, don't. Listen, spelling is tough, guys, okay? I'm, I have trouble spelling myself. Damn. <laughs> Bruh, this was written on a computer in 2021. You have Grammarly add ons that you could put on Chrome. You can spell check everything. They tell you where to put commas, where to delete commas. I don't cut it out. I don't know how to use any. You of may that. have a degree. But still dumb. <laughs> We're on to the next one. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Good acting, atrocious writing. Mm. Oh, this is a mouthful. We're going to have to keep this one up on the screen. I'm going to try to get through it. I just finished the series, and I signed up for IMDb for the sole purpose of getting <laughs> <The soap>. this <laughs> <laughs> The sole purpose. Of giving Yo. this show a one star. That's how dedicated. That's that sad shit. That's like you eating terrible food. you like, I'm about to go make a yelp just to shit on these motherfuckers. <laughs> like, just don't go back. <laughs> just don't watch the show no more. All right, but let, anyway, the actors all do a good job with the parts they are given. Rather than spend time critiquing the on-screen talent, I must voice my extreme displeasure with the writing. Mm. I guess now it's commonplace for television shows to be as violent and gory as possible, i.e. Sons of Anarchy. But in my opinion, this was hands down the absolute worst piece of garbage to ever be televised. Wow. Mm. I have zero desire to see people doing drugs, zero desire to watch human bodies chemically decomposed. I don't see how it's <laughs> possible for a nerdy high school chemistry teacher to turn into such a horrible piece of filth. I, mean, I don't want to watch innocent people get shot in the head by the dregs of society. Sorry, it's not my thing. We will keep the rest of this review up there because i'm not going to read the rest and you don't need to have enough yeah to you don't need cover. to yeah. yeah yeah you don't need like to. i get it like it's not your thing to see bad things mm -hmm. and this was written in 20 2015 so this is when the show first aired right uh the nah nah this was five years that i believe it ended 2013. Mm, damn this shit really is old mm -hmm. okay because i was gonna say there had to be like way worse tv out there like like oz and shit like that like I mean, they brought up Sons. Well, you know what it is. I haven't watched. I didn't watch Sons till like 2015 myself, so I was late to the game. Yeah, but, but yeah. And now, nah, but what, what he said, he said, uh, uh, right in. I guess I'm not complacent with television shows violent and gory as possible. This show was not violent or gory as possible. It just was real ish. <laughs> as possible you know what i'm saying so like and, and it wasn't even that real like you know what i'm saying like you can't decompose body like that and shit it's all part of the show like i mean like now nah, you could definitely decompose. Decom i mean you can like, but not the way they did it you know what i'm saying i just disagree with the whole like i don't want to watch innocent people get shot like i i could argue that only probably like two innocent people died this whole series andrea um, yeah yeah, Andrea and, and probably Gail, like, and, and just him being in the meth business probably makes you less of an innocent. To be yes, honest. So I like, agree. Yep. You know, like, that's kind of bullshit. Um, and then the whole, like, how is it possible for a nerdy high school chemistry teacher to become a horrible piece of filth? Like, have you not watched Ted Bundy documentaries and shit like that? These, your, your, your worst roommate on Netflix and shit like, mm. well, again, this is from 2015, but yeah. like, bruh. The, the some of the worst serial killers was was looked at as nice and, and handsome and beautiful and shit like that. Like you don't know who anybody could become. Yeah. So get that out of here. This one star review is dookie, but good good shout out on the acting though. Acting was great. <laughs> Ooh, it's just bad. It's just bad. I don't know why people are praising this show. There's no substance for about 70% of the time just talking about something that doesn't impact the story. Wait. They were not paying attention. The characters are very dull and lacking in well character. I feel as though they are just there to look at. They don't connect with the character. I don't feel anything for them, which means that I don't care if they live or die, which means that I'm not in suspense at all. There's about three good scenes in the whole show, but Mythbusters proved them all to be wrong and so unreal that it makes the chemistry feel cheap. 
This show may appeal to some people, but it really doesn't deserve a quarter of the hype that it has. Don't watch it. You'll be wasting your time. <laughs> this, <clears throat> for me, this is weird because I can't, I don't, I don't agree that you can say there's no substance 70% of the time and that characters are dull. Like, I feel like you're not paying attention. Someone even pointed out how the little conversation between Skinny Pete and freaking Badger when they did that Star Trek shit. Yep. How that tied into the story. Like, I'm like, damn, I got to go rewatch that. Like, mm -hmm. so how can you say that? And then also, <laughs> the whole there's only about three good scenes that Mythbusters debunked. Like, bro, for one, I feel like shit like that doesn't go into a, a, a review. Like, because that means that after you watch the show, you yep. had to go and find Mythbusters episodes to disprove what you just watched. Yep. And this is from 2014. So that means that this, you know what I'm saying? Like, he watched the show back when it kind of came, or he or she watched the show back when it was still kind of fresh. Yep. So it's like fuck out of here nah i don't i don't buy this because like that's what is good about this show is the characters and how believable they are within interacting with one another you feel me because most of the stuff that are said or done in the beginning come back to the end full circle so it's like if that doesn't happen then i would agree with this person but it, it does happen so it's like yeah. And I don't yeah. know how you can put very dull in Aaron Paul, a.k.a. Jesse, in the same sentence. Can't happen. They didn't care whether anyone lived or died. Painful. Mm. Okay, let's see. Why, God, why? Starting religious already. This is pure pain in the name of television show. Utter garbage. Wow. This has got to be a seriously boring show. I gave it a try after lots of hype surrounding it, but all I got was painfully long stares and silences and boring dialogue. Same boring storyline dragging along every episode. <laughs> it soon grew on me. After giving it nine episodes, I finally gave up. I just don't understand the hype. And lastly, it teaches guns, drugs, and violence is cool. What the hell? If you want gritty and riveting dramas, I'll recommend shows like Dexter and American Horror Story. Wow. I know I'm going to get lots of thumbs up. But sorry, Breaking Bad did not impress me. He can again. Why are you writing reviews and then contradicting yourself with Garbanzo behind it, bruh? You recommend shows like Dexter? I haven't watched Dexter, but ain't that about a murderous doctor? Yeah, it's cool to be a murderous, you know. It's cool to be a murderous doctor. Yeah, though. it is. And it's cool to have fictional stories of people being, I don't know, torture, I guess. I don't know what American Horror Story is about. But <laughs> America's Horror Story is, is all right, but I wouldn't compare it to Breaking Bad. And I also wouldn't say I, I can't follow up with like it teaches guns, drugs and violence is cool. And then follow up with Dexter and AHS, AHS, especially the first season of American Horror Story, which was Murder House, which was basically just motherfuckers getting murdered in a house, bro, like by ghosts and, and people that were alive. Like shit was wild. Yeah. But the, 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 but then on top of everything, this reviewer says after giving it nine episodes, I finally... Mm -hmm. I finally gave up, so he didn't even. That's the one. He didn't even finish the it. series. Yeah, he didn't even finish yeah. it. So, to me, <clears throat> yeah, another and one. We started. all know season one was fairly slow. So like, <clears throat> oh no, oh, season man. one. That's the reason why I kind of like. It's a hit or miss for some people because season one is so slow. So it's like I, I feel like some people can't really get into the mix, especially yeah. you know, certain type of people. I just be like yo. Can you watch this? And then, they, <laughs> nah, it's not, it's not, it's not for them. All right, let's get it. It was painful to, to read that one star. <laughs> you see the title of this one? I got to read this. Go one. ahead. As ugly as Walt's underwear. <laughs> this came out last year. <laughs> this was boring show with lots of murders of good characters. Mm. They did not find any acting. Or I did not find any acting or emotions or music or visual part, i.e. there were nothing entertaining or touching. I kept watching only because of two characters, but when they got killed, I realized that the show became empty. My favorite episode is the last one when this is all ended in proper way. Also, what is the lesson learned from this? If you have a crisis of middle age, you need to become a criminal instead of trying to find support in your family and make some efforts to improve your life? 
again with I don't like I don't know. Like, do these people just watch TED Talks all day? Like, they they don't understand that you can he watch these something. shows and not be influenced like that. Like, to, this is like the third or fourth review where someone said they're you know glorifying criminal life. Yeah, and not only that, he said he didn't find in the acting or emotions or music or visuals entertaining or touching, which is very hard to grass because once again i had to bring up jesse character alone and let's say you don't like walt because walt is a piece of shit and you hate him so much that you can't like any you know what i'm saying okay but what about every other kid what about mike what about saul skyler what about, any, what any, about lydia todd, uh, todd like all of them do amazing like, like amazing you telling me none i would of these love to characters? know what two characters yeah, yeah he, I would well, he said they got killed, so it maybe Mike. Okay, maybe I mean, he, they, they did watch it all the way to the end, so we know that. Yeah, so maybe, maybe Mike and Hank, right? Maybe Mike. And yeah, Hank? it gotta be. It gotta be Mike and Hank. But too easily liked characters. And, and, and or what maybe I, Gus. What I don't understand either too is because he's kind of contradicting co- contradicting himself here. When he says my favorite episode is the last one when it all ends in a proper way. So you agree that it comes to a proper ending, aka meaning yeah. that the you know, that just I, like I was gonna say that there's something this is, there. This, they should have gave it like a six. I don't know, they these motherfuckers like freakers, for man. for them to give it a one. It's just it's People a stretch. Are crazy. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. Most Overrated show ever. How can this degenerate show be better than 24? All the protagonists are despicable. The only two people that are likable are Saul and Michael. And I am glad Saul got his own show. Better called Saul. So that one is worth watching and I rate 8.5. Do yourself a favor. Skip this as it is infuriating that drug dealers get so much okay Reddit. another one it's another one of those i hate drug dealers uh we we shouldn't be both it's not if people watch this show and take away that oh i should become a drug dealer if that's the takeaway then obviously you the the public school system has failed you because you, yourself has failed you, you, failed, yourself, <laughs> you failed yourself you failed yourself you by failed feeling yourself. like Media can control your thought process, bro. Every drug dealer in this damn show died. Why would you, like, what What message are well, you getting that the drug dealers are cool? Well, except yeah, Jesse, Jesse, but, yeah. like, you feel me? Like, what is this message that y'all getting that drug dealers are cool? Like, what is happening? So much credit. There are some very successful drug dealers out there. Have y'all <laughs> not heard of, like, Frank Lucas and shit like that? They got documentaries. Like, some of them are successful. And I guess... I won't you know, say they deserve way. credit, but they got credit because they did what the fuck they did. I don't know. These people crazy, man. I never seen Twenty Four. Have you seen Twenty Four? Um, I have not seen Twenty Four, but I know who's the star of Twenty Four, aka, you know, t- Tommy Kirk. You know hey, yeah, Tommy oh, Kirk, designated okay. survivors for the for the. Oh, okay. I think I seen maybe a preview. Yeah, it's just like it got the two four, and then it's just like him, and it's like a black background and shit. So. Yeah, I think he was. I think people were saying that they didn't like him on set. Oh. Anyways, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't get it. Me either. Okay, I, I don't get one star reviews. I don't get it. Let's see what this person doesn't get. I am evidently in the minority here. Apparently not. We got all these one star reviews, but I will never understand the hype around this show. It's incredibly boring. I know it's a drama, not an action, but it's got cartels, gangs, drugs, DEA, undercover operations. It has so much avenues that could inject some excitement into it, but instead is the most boring show ever created, which, when coupled with the fact that there isn't a single likable character in the entire show, every single one of them are hateful, insufferable, irredeemable, stupid, just awful human beings, unbearable characters, being melodramatic and arguing over everything under the sun with nothing happening just doesn't do much for me personally. <laughs> It is what it is on this one, bro. <laughs> like, again, it's just someone calling it boring. Like, I, I it's tough. Like, because when I see them, I'm trying to figure out, like, I wonder how long they lasted watching it. Because I could feel the people who didn't make it past season one calling it boring. Like, but if you finished out the show, 
Like, I don't understand how you didn't see the avenues that injected incitement into the show. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's a great way of putting it. Yeah. I don't get how they can come to this conclusion because it's pretty unsufferable and irredeemable, in my in my opinion. Stupid. Just awful human face. being this person is. Oof. Ouch. Tell me the words don't hurt. I just hit him with his own life. Names. Make sure you block out their names nah, on this one. No, they no, I'm, I'm you, blocking but... all the names. But <laughs> I literally just read back a line of his paragraph. And doesn't that sound kind of harsh? Like it is. It we is. I call junkies. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's, we on to the next before we Let's realize go. that we are all terrible human beings. <laughs> overrated. 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 Keep seeing this series recommended over and 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 over. Just why? Just watch the first two seasons, similar to Mad Men and Sons of Anarchy. Oh my god! Good at first, but then boring. The one consistent thing is Cranston's acting. Other than that, how can I describe it? Oh yeah, overrated. Whew. Yeah. They shitting on us. Well, this one star is overrated. Next. It's it is interesting though that they. They decided that season one and two were the best and then got boring. Yeah, which it's to me... Inverse reaction, I feel like. Yeah, I think three and four is like where it really actually, you know, where things Picked got up, excited. Yeah, because yeah. season one was just, to me, it was good, but it wasn't like, oh my God, it's the greatest show. Like, no, you don't get that yeah. until like, I feel like the end of season two when like, when like, when you see the finale of season two, you're like, whoa, this is bigger than, you know, and then you start finding out little things like, oh, the four titles say this. And then you start mm-hmm. you start putting stuff together and you're just like, wow, OK, this show is really on a different different playing field here. But I do like the way season one ended, though. I feel like that's what kept me really going. Well, I was going to keep going anyway because yeah. you know, the show. But the ending of one, I was just like, OK, OK, you're starting to speed up for your boy. Mm-hmm. But shout out to Cranston's acting. Huh? Overrated. Let's go. <laughs> Huge disappointment. You know we got to get into this one. It's a from 2020, so it's a little bit newer. People got more words that they like to use these days. You know, you know what I'm saying. And they're disappointed, so that means that they came in with some expectations. So let's hear it. Everyone I know loved this show. Everyone said that it's really, really good. I cannot disagree more. It's not the worst TV show that I have ever seen, but it's quite down there with the rest of the garbage. I mean, it's watchable, but only on fast forward most of the time. Damn. Oh my on God. the insane, <laughs> one of the insane wives on the screen, fast forward. Damn, Jesse Pinkman is having a nervous breakdown again for no good reason, fast forward. Walter is trying to save Jesse from who knows what and for what reason again and again. This is motion. Jesse is saying the B (laughs) word again, or they all say cook again and again. Mute and fast forward. Fast forward. The airliner crash was needed. Why the teddy bear eye was there. Why Hank had his panic attacks or were they heart attacks and plenty more. No answers. I'm done. I'm not reading the rest of that. I'm not reading the rest of that. If you don't know why Hank had panic attacks, I'm not reading the rest of that. How you feel about this review so far? <laughs> this reminds me of one of our friends that we had a conversation that kind of started the channel. He he has said something similar to this that he had fast forward through certain parts of the movie. And ever since that, I can't take him serious. But this reminds me of him. Like anything... He, he said, Walt is trying to save Jesse from who knows what and what for what reason again and again. Fast forward. What? Bruh. You telling me when Jesse's walking up about to go blast those two drug dealers, you fast forward that? That fool said, why was the airplane crash needed? Fast forward. Why did Hank start having panic attacks? This motherfucker did not. <laughs> Bruh, we're done. Let's go. Next, 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 next one. Does... Wait, oh, does deserve a 9.5. Very confusing. Let's get to this. Yeah, let's go into this. If Game of Thrones had the same rating as Breaking Bad, there is something seriously wrong. This show isn't bad by any means. It was actually very good. An honest ranking would be somewhere in the high eights, perhaps an 8.7. 
And this doesn't have anything to do with personal taste or the genre. I've seen this show all the way through twice. I am comparing only the storytelling and character building, which I feel is nowhere near on par with Game oh of Thrones. Let's let's just let's just throw this out there. Okay. Game of Thrones has the worst ending Oof. in TV history. Okay? Period. Okay? Now I I do enjoy Game of Thrones, I think Game of, the, Game of Thrones is on my top five list. Fact. But the ending was so rushed that it just felt out of place from the rest of the show. And Bruh, the ending was so bad that the show the show literally like erased for a couple of years. Like you didn't hear shit about bro. I'm talking about this. Everyone was talking about Game of Thrones, bruh. Every place I worked, every grocery store I went to, every wherever the fuck I was at, motherfuckers was talking about it. gangsters, anybody, <laughs> motherfuckers in these tech companies, everybody was talking about that show. And after that finale, this shit went complete silent. Of, of course, after people got their negative shit out, yeah. but like I've never seen a show that hype just go silent like that mm -hmm. like the only reason now that it's starting to pick up again is because they start to talk about the prequels, the prequels and shit like yeah, that again yeah, yeah. but like i've never seen a show go silent like that so my bad for cutting you off but i had to get that out there bro mm. the ending was ter was that terrible for pe some people that the show you would almost <sighs> like if you were born in a year after game of thrones came out or probably even six months you wouldn't even know this shit existed but okay Done. but just to get real right back to the to this reviewer yeah go ahead go ahead if it deserves an eight or in the eight high eights, then why not give it that? I don't know. Why give it and a one? Are they trying to say? Are they trying to say doesn't deserve a nine point five? Because now I'm feeling like they wrote this. The I'm feeling like they wrote it <laughs> and then they came back and re-edited their title. Like maybe it does deserve a nine point five. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. But you got me confused right now because you're saying it's somewhere in high in the eights. You gave it a one, so I'm just I'm kind of confused here. And to be honest, next. And they said the character building. Oh my god. Next. Like I if hope. the faceless men like the faceless men story arc just didn't go anywhere. And Oh um, my god, go. yeah. Next I said right, so this is a half a star. This shit made me feel something. I don't like it. Fuck Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You got anything there? Uh, apparently, fuck Jesse. He did something to this man. Like, oh well, I I kind of see what he's saying. Like, uh, if because Jesse's kind of like the catalyst of it all. If he would have mm. just took his bags and went to Alaska, probably Hank and all of the things at the end wouldn't happen. So, I kind of, I kind of see why he's saying fuck Jesse. What motherfucker? You just put all that together? What? We on to the next, bro? What? How the hell did you? You what? He didn't mention Mike, Hank, none of that. No, he, he just put because, like he said, fuck Jesse. So the only thing I can say fuck Jesse for is for him starting the demise of Hank. He's the reason why Hank this dies. I feel you. This shit made me feel something. I feel you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, right. <laughs> Essa uh, said he nah. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> I ain't going to even try that. All right. One star, baby. This series doesn't deserve... I'm not doing this. this <laughs> no, okay. do it. Do it, do no. it, do it. Do it. All right, that's the reaction there. I'm not reading that shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, real quick. It says, this series doesn't deserve 100% reviews. It deserves 99 <laughs> I was staring at that shit for like five minutes and didn't read it, yo. That's sad. Yo, what the fuck does this mean? Bro? It means that this show, everybody's giving it 100%. So he got to be the one dude to come in and just be like, oh, my God. This is where we at. Oh, man. I got to I got to uh, oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. I don't trust these people's reviews anyway, so we done. We cutting this. But please, if y'all haven't, man, let us know. We asked like six, seven questions in the beginning, so type them out with us. Let us know the answers for y'all. I would love to uh, continue staying engaged. We're going to give y'all El Camino this Friday. 
Then the following week, we're coming in with Better Call Saul. So the Breaking Bad Familia is not breaking apart just yet, baby. Let's <laughs> go. We are friend request reviews. Don't forget to like this video. Go ahead. Drop some comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Our goal is 1K subscribers. So go ahead. Click that button. Click that bell. And get notified when we go live. F double R out. Peace. I love you, Blue. <laughs>